Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover how to set up our first project in Kamunda 8. Okay, using SaaS. It means cloud. What is SaaS? Software as a service. So Kamunda is pro Kamunda 8 is providing two ways of setting your project. One is SaaS based and another one is self-managed based. In the last video, we covered how to create a SaaS account, how to get the properties files from the SaaS, right? So in this video, let's utilize that whatever we created the account and whatever we received the properties files, all that we utilize that and we will create our first Spring Boot application and we'll try to deploy a small BPMN file. I mean, with a small user task, we will try to deploy the file into cloud and let's run it and let's see how it is really it is working okay hope you understood let's start let's jump into eclipse i mean so creating spring boot application then going to eclipse and going to create and all these things okay i already done in my local but again i will tell you step by step actually okay and i'll cover you that okay first let's go to your browser okay so this is the page already you have it as per the last video last session i we created the tech bus blocks and we have the apa right so here we have the task list if you see here you can just copy this and hit it here so this is the task list page okay and this is the operate page okay uh, similar like a cockpit admin right so that is the operate and task list is same okay so we have this operate as well as task list okay now what you need to do as a first step you need to go for a spring initializer okay just uh, go for it and take a maven project i'm just taking as a maven project okay so spring boot version whatever you wish to take it 2.7.6 you can take it out or 3 also you can take it out and the jar version i just using java 11 okay I mean Java 11 then you can add the differences as spring web then spring actuator right so and if you want some additional like a lambda and order it you can just add it and generate a project okay I already generated the project okay so I have that in my local and I just imported into my eclipse okay here you can see that this is the kamunda 8 okay this is the project i just imported nothing else will be there this is the kamunda 8 application okay the java file so don't worry about this sample controller i will tell you then the resource file will have the application and properties okay other than that nothing was there okay these three files was not there initially and sample controller was not there okay so these four files i created i will tell you the step by step okay then First step, what you need to do conf to configure your Spring Boot application as a Kamunda application, you, you have to go to your palm.xml file. Okay, so earlier, if you remember, we used to uh, inject like a, some Kamunda dependencies, like Kamunda Spring Boot starter or whatever it may be. But here, as I told earlier, so our ZB client is the main one which will interact with your Kamunda cloud, right? So you need to create a dependency for your ZB, okay, Spring ZB starter and the group ID is Kamunda, IO Kamunda and ZB version, I am just using 8.0.8, .8, okay, I am just maintaining in the properties, okay, so first change, keep it, remain, remain, first one is a property file change, just adding the Lambok dependency and the version, okay, then the second thing is that so if you go to your main uh, Spring Boot application, you need to add two more annotations. One is enable ZB client, ZB client, and another one is ZB deployment. So which resource you want to deploy it? Okay, I mean to cloud, right? So this is the two things you need to note it out actually. Okay, so first one is the palm.xml change, and second one is that your ZB client. Okay. So if you coming to our controller, I, I have nothing I done. Just I try to auto wire on ZB client uh, one get mapping. So just I, I am using the client and nothing I done it. At, okay, it's just empty response. Okay, so we are not going to hit this API anyway. anyway okay, just to use that ZB client. I am just mentioning this one because if you are not using ZB client, it will throw the error when you are running your application. 
for that i just mentioned this zb client and the client new active job job rate test so don't worry about this code just maybe you can just copy paste it okay so maybe in the further future videos i will tell you how to use this zb client uh, and what are the methods are there and all the things okay so this is the project we are just going to set up our first project and this is just a welcome page okay okay fine so now i, I added zb client and zb deployment okay then as you remember in the last video i shown you how to download a uh, application.properties file from your console right so i shown you in the last video so i downloaded when i created this uh, application I, it was provided me the application or properties and i downloaded same thing i am just uh, using inside my project okay so zb client that uh, region cluster id client id client secret so the same thing will be present here as well okay i am just closing this okay so you can see here my only visible on client creation okay while while cre client creating you can see the secret so at the time we we got this file itself okay and this is the client id so we are mentioning here right and this is the cluster id we are mentioning here and this is the region we are mentioning here and i just open the task list and operate it operate url right so both are open right the sec this is the first step we done it right so now our spring boot application is ready okay now we want to draw some diagram right so just open your commodore modeler okay so as usual you simply draw some bpm and diagram okay i just draw with on user task nothing else was there okay so hope you know that how to draw the diagram right new file bpm platform diagram 8 and you can just uh, create on user task and you can end up with the flow so here i just mentioned as the user task nothing else the same i done it out already okay so here i am going to uh, point to my cloud environment okay this modeler i am going to point to cloud environment how i am going to point if you click here okay if if you click here you can see that the target is the saas based or self management self managed it is asking so i am just mentioning as a saas based okay if you see that client id and client secret i am just pick it from the properties file this is the client id this is the client secret i am just mentioning here af3 this is the client right okay so client id so i'm just mentioning here and the cluster url what is that if you go here if you go here you can see this is your cluster url but here you need to mention as a https okay so what i'm going to do is just i'm adding https then i'm just copying that url so from here to here okay and instead of grpcs i am just adding https and then just marking the url i am just pasting the url and just deploy it once i deploy it this will automatically come into your your uh, what is that your operate okay so see, see here this is the operate right so this is the diagram it was getting deployed okay then the next step what i have to do i need to start a process right so earlier if you see that in commodore 7 we used to have in task list we used to have a start process option but here we don't have so we need to configure via your commodore modeler or again web modeler also is there but i am trying to do via commodore modeler itself okay so i'm just uh, i'm just having this one then this is automatically getting uh, i'm just want to run this application okay i'm running then the second step what i'm going to do this is the one start current diagram i mean if you want to pass some input variables and everything you can pass it out as of now i i no need of passing any input variable here i'm just clicking on start here okay so so it should create a task here right it should create a task here based on this diagram i mean one user task is there so it should create i'm just deploying that okay so once i deploy that okay process is started and process is side it is gave me that actually okay now let me go here and let me ref okay i am not refreshed automatically it is coming okay that is the power of cloud right
so and if you go here if you just refresh the operate right so you can see here right one process instance this is the process instance key which you got here okay anyway it's gone and this is a task one task is under user task and you can see even task list page also you can see one task okay you can click this you can just claim it okay and claim it claim it adding variables and everything you can do as it is our existing task list then you can complete the task see that's all now if you refresh this operate the task will end up in a task will end and it will be it should go here or oh, it is not went okay it is gone right so i just refresh the page okay so the task was completed one task was completed if if maybe if you want to start the process again you can just go and click it and let me just check, check, check it okay so double two five one the process was done so let me refresh this see it was created one more task okay so even i can go and claim this and complete this okay then i can go here and if i refresh that okay so first time refresh sometime it is not picking okay it, it was done already in the my task was completed okay so you can see that two task was completed right so this is the way if, if you want to do some changes even you can do that actually just deleting here adding one more task maybe let me add one more user task test task i'm just assuming that okay i'm just completing then just saving this trying to deploy this okay okay it should get deployed let's see it is giving any yeah process definition deployed okay let's go here and let let's go to our operate let me refresh this page it should generate one more version now okay so two right yeah you can see here right so it is so you are not done anything you simply changing in commando modeler and you are just deploying that so automatically the cloud is picking based on your config here so because you are having the bpm file here right and you are mentioning that so this is the path you need to deploy it so those details you are going to mention so based on this detail client id client secret it is automatically deploying into cloud so now let let me go and create a task i mean i need to click this and i need to start a task okay process instance started okay let me go here and let me refresh this page i think no need of refresh okay so first user task claim it okay let, let's see this okay user task is here okay just uh, complete this task so task completed now this one has to move here right let me just refresh it and let let's see that okay okay you can see here test task now if you see see here test task was completed the name is test task and complete task okay so now this has to move to next stage okay here task, task was completed okay so it it went to here right so hope you understood how to create a task i mean how to start a process and how to deploy the process via commando modeler and everything let, let me quickly walk through that okay all the steps so first we just created a with the help of spring initializer we just created the project then the second step we just added the dependency zb client zb starter as well as we just added the annotations okay then the third step just dummy controller as we need to use the zb client i just added some dummy controller okay then the fourth uh, we have just uh, already the downloaded properties files we just added here okay then the fifth just drawing the diagram and deploy it and run it okay so based the url is here so based on that automatically it is getting deployed and copied everything it was done successfully automatically so just you need to make sure that commando modeler is sync with your sas okay 
next video i'll try to cover the self manage how to do and all the things right so hope you understood uh, how to set up your first project how to deploy into cloud and everything right thanks guys thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye